what is up people how's it going this is Bharat and welcome back to yet another video this is going to be an interesting series of videos if you read it from the title that's right we're going to be building a same application in both Slutter as well as Kiwi and probably building and trying out a lot of different things along this way this is going to be an interesting series of videos we're going to be learning how to do this and at the same time also pitting these two toolkits against each other and finding out which is actually going to be better so if you're ready for this challenge let's get this video started because I've got few ground rules to start and also probably give you guys an intro into what you can expect as, as part of this series. Alright, so what exactly is this challenge going to be about? In this challenge, you're going to be building one single application using two different toolkits. That's right. So you're going to be using the Kiwi for the first three days and building the same application, followed by Flutter for the next three days and building the same application. When I say the same application, I mean to say the same functionality, the same UI, and you're going to be pitting them against each other to find out which is better than the other. So what exactly is the app that you're going to build? We're going to be building an Android app where we're going to be uh, creating a bank login. Uh, the user can enter into this application and they can enter the money they want to send to some other, somebody else. And using that, uh, they can actually transact money. Additionally, we also have few additional information like their uh, spend history and things like that. And that's going to be the enter application. We're going to be using this knowledge to create a simple UI mockup in the later part of this video. So stay tuned for that. Alright, so we cannot start without understanding the ground rules for this series. I do not want to pit both of these applications or the, both of these toolkits without having some ground rules. The first ground rule is that we're going to be using my MacBook Pro, which is a 2019 model having 16 gigs of RAM. And that's going to be my application uh, builder, meaning that I'm going to be using that machine to build these two uh, different applications and have all the things installed in that. The second important thing is that we can use any of the Linux boxes because I know that uh, Kiwi that cannot build using a Mac I, I'm not sure if it has changed uh, by this time but I, I want to make sure that the rule is that the building of the programming process has to happen in Mac but probably the building APK part can happen anywhere meaning they can happen on a cloud they can happen on a Linux box or a different OS the third important uh, thing is that each toolkit is given only three days meaning I have to complete the application within the three days but I can use any number of hours within these three days so that's going to be like a fixed number of days but in increasing the hearts depending on how I want to complete it. So as you go along the series, I'm going to be explaining you guys like how much amount of uh, work goes into this part, how much amount of work goes into that part so that you guys can have a very clear understanding. By end of the sixth day, we're going to be doing a comparison of these two APKs and I'm going to be also giving you the rules for or the judge or, or the judging criteria for these two comparisons. Followed by the final one is that I'm going to be running this application on a physical device. I have OnePlus, six, uh, OnePlus 3 here, uh, which is actually a 2016 uh, device like a physical device and it also has six gigs of ram but if you guys think uh, this is not going to be cutting out for my application i'm there's a specific reason why i'm testing it out here uh, the reason is that i want to make sure that the application of the apk that we are building is running on even a very slow or the like a low end device uh, even though this has six gigs of, gigs of ram it has it has a very old processor so i want to really test it out like if it's running here but do not worry i'm not only going to test it here i'm also going to be testing it on a latest like a 2019-2020 device uh, because there's a couple of only uh, phones that I have so I don't have any other phones if you watch this video and subscribe and I get more money I can buy a new phone and All right, so we are on the interesting part. We're going to be building a very simple wireframe. Uh, like I told you in the start of this uh, video, we're going to be building a bank application. So I'm going to be having this as a three-part application, a three-pages application, meaning that that's going to be login page, and followed by that, that's going to be like a home page, and the third page is going to be like a money sending page where you can uh, transact money between two different accounts. So that's going to be the three important pages that we have, but I'm going to be doing a simple wireframe or a mock-up so that we have a very base important layer to use and build the application. So cue the montage.
all right guys so i've completed building the basic mock-up or this is called as wireframe i'm going to be making sure to save it up so that we can use it and uh, view it whenever you want to and it says that i for free okay simplest way to do it is probably take a screenshot of it because i've done everything in a single frame itself so it's going to be very very easy for me to uh, continue working on it and uh, you can actually buy this as a free version of this as well and i would recommend you guys to do use it i do have a free version like i have signed up but i don't i don't want like take some time into going in and uh, pretty much this is what we're going to be building we have a first page where you're going to have the logo and also have the ui uh like username password like basically it's going to be the account number or the net banking number password and submit as soon as you log in we're going to be having a simple screen and the simple screen is going to first uh, first functionality it's going to have is actually like a spend uh, like spend tracker basically what was your last month spend what is your present month spend and things like that the second page is going to be where you can have like a credit card history and stuff and it could even have be your debit card history things like that what what was your recent transaction and the final page is going to be the final functionality is going to be the money transfer you can send the money from one bank account to another bank account and when you click on this you can click on either same bank or you click on outside bank let's uh, take a look for the same bank because the same bank is it's just going to ask your uh, account number and it's going to be your ifsc code and followed by your amount to send like what is the amount to send similarly for outside bank also we're going to be having the same page and uh, that's not how it usually works in a banking application for outside bank you might have to add a beneficiary and things like that but that's going to be like taking a uh, dragging on to your application which i don't want to do i want to keep it as a three-part application so that i can work on uh, these things in a phased manner not exactly on a page by page for a day but rather than i, I look it I look into it like a, a functionality basis so first day i'm going to be building the logo and like the three pages for sure and uh, then start to work on the functionality on the second day and third day is going to be app testing bug fixing and things like that so that's going to be the whole plan and i'm going to be uh, continuing on doing that All right, so we have done or looked into the wireframe or the mockup that you're going to be using. But what exactly is going to be the server? The server for this application is going to be uh, running on a fast API server. It's going to be running locally. And uh, like the series that I did on the recent fast API videos, you can see that you can run your local host servers in almost instantaneously. So I'm going to be building the fast API server. And that video is going to be uh, living as a separate video, but it's going to be coming out as a full length video, meaning it's going to be three hours of uh, me sitting and working on building a server so that's going to be the first video that's going to come out probably tomorrow you can see that and uh, we can actually go to look into all the different uh, functionalities that are required what are the different apis i need first starting from the username password api till the app tracking the spend tracking and things like that all of that is going to be covered in tomorrow's video all right so we have the ui mockup we have the server completed and what exactly is going to be the judging criteria for this application the first judging criteria for this application is going to be the apk size what is the size of the application when it, when built with kiwi and uh, when built with flutter the second important thing is going to be the performance of the application i rather i really expect that there is not going to be any jank issues on both flutter and kiwi i'm not really saying that it's the only thing but if there is any jank issues I'm going to call it out if i feel that the junk issue is probably because of the phone that i'm using because of it's a low-end phone i'm going to call that out as well and the third important thing is going to be the memory utilization i'm going to be running a memory utilization a tracker and i'm going to be like a, a probably monitoring what is the memory that this application is using uh, when running on both the different toolkits the final one is going to be the cpu utilization because making sure to not take so much, uh, so much cpu uh, cpu would probably affect the battery life and things like that so i'm going to be testing that out as well All right, guys, so what exactly can you expect from the series? I do understand that a lot of you guys want to uh, watch me like code the entire thing. But there's another set of people who don't want that. They just want the simple snippet or the summary of what is happening on a day by day basis. So I'm going to be starting out with the summary videos only, meaning that I'm going to be releasing an eight to 10 minute video of my day of what I did on the day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, and day six, followed by the final conclusion on day seven. But if you guys are really interested to know more 
more about what I built and what exactly is happening. If you want a very detailed video of that, I'm also going to be releasing that on the probably the next week. So make sure to stay subscribed and probably hit the bell notification so that you guys can watch that. And probably by the end of the uh, six days, I'm going to be having the seventh day completely dedicated to pitting these two applications against each other. So if you guys are actually building this application along with me, make sure to also uh, watch the seventh day because that's going to be the final day of testing these two things that's it for this video guys i'm actually really really uh, looking forward to working on this on the day one itself but tomorrow it's going to be for the fast api we're going to be building the server first day so i'm going to be calling it as day zero so let me meet you guys on the day zero of this flutter versus kiwi same app development challenge really really interesting stuff coming up right ahead see you guys there until next part peace out have a super awesome day